want to illustrate some things on this truck for uh, up close details, paint quality. So there's a few places, mostly on this passenger side, where we're going to see, try to catch the light just right, a few blemishes. You can't really feel that with the finger, but you can see it in the right light. There's a few places along this bedside as well. We give this paint job about a 7 out of 10. That might be being a little critical, but we want you to see that it's not perfect. Those are my most critical areas. There's another place on the Wimbledon White here. I took a photo of it, but it doesn't show in the photo very good. Almost looks a little gray right here. Or maybe a third or fourth coat didn't quite get the same coverage. You almost have to catch it in the right light, which is why we have it kind of facing the sun right now, just to illustrate that. So this trim from the factory is all anodized and this has been stripped from the anodized coating, polished and sealed. Um, a guy could get pretty picky with the polish if he wanted to take it farther, but as it shows right now, it's probably a little shinier than factory. The factory finish was more of a grayish, had a grayish tint to it. And that goes for all of this trim all the way around. It's been stripped and polished. And that is all of the bright work on the side moldings and the grill, which is a factory piece, not a reproduced unit. The 70 shell is not reproduced. This is a factory piece and all of the trim on the sides and on the hood lip is all factory. It's about as nice as they come for a factory grill shell and trim that's not dinged. There's a few places that almost look worse in the photos and in real life. A little bit of a hiccup here. But to me it presents a lot better than aftermarket. Another flaw is this is freshly upholstered seat and unfortunately this bead here is a little bit rough where this uh, trim piece on the seat is wanting to cut in here. I actually like taking these trim pieces off um, for that reason so it's not digging into your upholstery but that is what it is under hood items including all the engine and the inner fenders and of course all of the body paint is all two-part catalyzed paint no aerosols so all of this paint is high quality and will withstand the uh, oil and gas fumes and everything that comes under an engine bay. No 
notice the four-wheel drive radiator support. Supercooler radiator upgrade, but this is a factory type supercooler and these run extremely cool, very nice, they're brass tanks. Considerably better in my opinion than the aftermarket aluminum radiator. Brake booster added, of course new brake lines, master cylinder, plumbing, Factory Ford gearbox from a 78-79 model. Hydraulic steering that way. Notice the upgraded steering column. heat controlled choke pull off so as the exhaust manifold gets warm that controls a spring and pulls the choke off so that's factory type about the only thing under the hood here that's not factory or OEM this is a replacement windshield washer reservoir and of course a replacement uh, power booster windshield has been replaced so that glass is pretty nice and clean but it's not factory however the rest of the glass in the pickup is factory car light and if you study this glass you'll see that it's got a few scratches in it It's a trade-off whether you want original glass with some blemishes or if you want perfect new glass that doesn't quite look right. So You could get maybe a bit more picky on this driver's side. original steering wheel is not cracked but it's also not as shiny as a brand new wheel would be 